Hello, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. The newest universe is beyond expansion, Doctor Who is arriving soon, and this wacky set of craziness brings with it a new collector booster. Now this expansion condenses 60 years of Doctor Who lore and history in one incredible expansion, perfect for avid Whovians and Magic players alike. All cards, whether reprints or new, will be with the Doctor Who inspired art. This expansion contains a total of 189 new to Magic cards, with one common, 33 on commons, 151 rares and 4 mythics, and 129 reprints with 22 commons excluding the basic lands, 30 commons, 71 rares and 1 mythic. Unlike the usual standard expansions, this universe is beyond set will only come with 4 commander decks, just like the Warhammer 40,000 expansion, but instead of having a collector version of the decks, the special versions of the cards in the decks will only be available inside of a collector booster pack. Now each set in Magic the Gathering introduced these unique additions to the card versions resulting in each collector booster having specific slots and this one is no different. Now before we start we'd like to remind you that all percentages and opening chances are based on entire print runs and are only indicative. You could open six boxes and get very lucky or unlucky as it's always a gamble. So what exactly is in each slot of a collector's booster of the Doctor Who expansion. Each collector booster contains a grand total of 15 playable cards. In the first slot, you get one traditional foil basic clan with a 33.33% chance or a 1 in 3 packs to appear in Surge Foil. Now, Surge Foils are a rare kind of foiling initially introduced with the Warhammer 40,000 collector decks and are quite striking. There are a total of 2 R per basic clan type for a total of 10 basic clan arts, and just like all other cards in the set, they will be themed with a Doctor Who art. This set does not contain any full art land. In the second slot you get one traditional foil doctor card with a 10% chance or 1 in 10 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now there is a total of 13 unique doctor cards and any of them can be found in this slot all with the same chance and odds with a 7.7% chance or 1 in 13 packs to find a specific one. In the third slot you'll find one traditional foil card from the blast from the past deck with a 10% chance or 1 in 10 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now this can be any of the cards in the respective commander deck apart from the plane shift playing cards. This means that every eternal legal card will be available in the slots including reprints and newly introduced cards. In the fourth slot, you'll find one traditional foil card from the Timey Wimey deck, with a 10% chance or a 1 in 10 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now the card types available in this slot are the same as the previous slot but come from a different commander deck. In the fifth slot, you'll find one traditional foil card from the Paradox Power deck, with a 10% chance or a 1 in 10 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now the card types available in this slot are the same as the previous slot but come from different commander decks. In the sixth slot, you'll find one traditional foil card from the Masters of Evil with a 10% chance or a 1 in 10 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now this is the same as the slots before. In the 7th slot you'll find one non-foil extended art new to magic card. Now only rares and mythics will be available in the extended art treatment in the slot except for sagas which do not have an extended art version and will not be available here. There are a total of 132 extended art new cards that is 128 rares with a 97% chance or one in almost every pack and four mythics with a 3.03% chance or one in 33 packs. Now extended art cards feature an extension to the usual artwork which stresses from left to right and eliminates the border of the card. Extended art cards of any type can only be found in collector boosters. In the A slot you can find one traditional foil extended art new to magic card. Now these are the same cards as the previous slot but in a traditional foil treatment. In the 9 slot you can find one non-foil extended art reprint magic card. Now only reprints of rare and mythic rarities will be available in the extended art treatment again except for sagas which do not have a scenario versions at all. Now this slot contains 71 possible cards that is 70 rares with a 98.6% chance or one in almost every pack and one mythic with a 1.4 chance or one in 71 packs. The stand slot contains one traditional foil extended R reprint magic card. These are the same as the previous slot but in the traditional foil treatment. In the 11th slot you can find one surge foil extended art new to magic card. Now these are the same cards that can be found in the 7th in a slot but with an assured foil treatment. In the 12th slot you'll be able to find one search foil extended art reprint magic card. These are the same cards that can be found in the 9th 
9th and 10th slot, but with an assured search foil treatment. In the 13th slot, you'll find one search foil wildcard. Now, these can be any of the cards found in a search foil treatment slots throughout the booster pack, except for the Thardis Showcase variants or the basic lands. In the 14th slot, you'll find one non-foil TARDIS Showcase variant. Now, this is the Showcase card version newly introduced in this set. The iconic blue TARDIS police box shape and border have been applied to the frame of every special card representing the Doctors, their companions and villains in Doctor Who's history. Furthermore, their art is more stylized than the live action counterpart found in the non TARDIS version. There's a total of 30 cards with the iconic TARDIS treatment, that is, 3 uncommons with a 10% chance or 1 in 10 packs, 23 rares with a 7.6% chance or about 8 in 10 packs, and 4 mythics with a 13.33 chance or about 1 in 7.5 boosters. The TARDIS showcase versions are only found in collector booster packs. In the 15th slot, you'll find one traditional foil TARDIS showcase variant. Now, these are the same cards and odds as the previous slot. Now, for the slot, 1 in 10 boosters will feature a search foil version or with a 10% chance. Now, the serialized Doctor cards also appear in the slot. There are a total of 13 Doctors that appear with a TARDIS frame with the serialized number out of 500 plus the number of Doctors iterations that they represent. So, the fourth Doctor's number will be out of 500 the 10th one will be out of 510, the 13th one will be out of 513. A serialized cards have the double rainbow foil treatment and in this slot they appear with less than 1% chance or less than 1 in 100 packs. There's a total of 13 unique Doctor cards and any of them can be found in the slot all with the same chance and odds with an added 7.7% .7 chance on top of it to find a specific one make it a little less than 1 in 1299 packs to find a specific serialized doctor card. In the 16th slot you'll find one traditional foil double face token with a 33.33 chance or 1 in 3 packs for it to appear in search foil. Now this brings us to a total of 6 to 7 extended art cards two showcase starter cards and 7 to 14 cards of rarity rare or mythic that can be found per pack. There are also 0 to 5 commons and 0 to 8 uncommons per pack and an assured basic land. Each pack will contain 3 to 10 search foil cards, 2 to 9 traditional foil and 1 traditional foil or search foil token. Now collector boosters are ideal for huge fans and collectors of specific sets. They are also a great gift to purchase for anyone interested in giving their special someone who loves the Magic Gathering an amazing gift. Each collector booster box will contain a total of 12 collector booster packs. So this was it for our video. We'll be making more videos to review and unbox all the Doctor Who products and make sure to stay tuned to our channel. Until the next time, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps out small channels like ours a lot. And do let us know what you're most excited about in this expansions in the comments below as we read and reply to every one of them. Be good, be kind, have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!